What is up everyone, Dr. Alex Spinoso here, Medical Mondays, and today I'm gonna to talk about something that has gotten relatively a lot of attention more recently in the bodybuilding world, but is not necessarily anything new, and that is something called peptides. So first off, what are peptides? Well, peptides are actually short chains of amino acid monomers put together and when they're put together, they replicate normal hormones in our body. Now they come in little vials like this, and usually some sort of mixing agent, such as alcohol or something else is added to them in order to mix them up. Now these are injected into the body in different ways, usually using an insulin needle. Now what they do is actually why they're gathering so much attention lately. Peptides increase testosterone naturally in the body as well as increase IGF-1, insulin growth factor. So they're actually increasing your growth hormones inside the body, allowing for quicker mu muscle growth, denser bones. These have actually been used for the better part of a decade, mostly in horses and in racetrack dogs. They're usually used for muscles or tendons that are torn and they create anti-inflammatory effects as well as growth hormone effects, both to repair muscles, uh, to repair tendons, as well as to increase the musculature uh, of these racetrack animals. Most recently, peptides have been used more in the bodybuilding world for the same effects, increasing production of testosterone, as well as helping increase production of growth hormone and their anti-inflammatory effects in people who have injured themselves, uh, torn muscles, torn uh, ligaments, torn tendons, in order to help these people heal faster. Using these peptides, people have been able to get back to their physical activities uh, faster with bodybuilding, as well as increase their testosterone and build more size with more dense bones quicker using the peptides. Now, as far as the side effects goes, there is relatively little data showing what the side effects are. However, what data there is shows that there isn't the uh, mass am massive amounts of side effects that there are with our anabolics that we think of every single day, uh, such as testosterone, trenbolone, things like that, and your other anabolics. And that's why they've become so popular. So with all the good things that peptides have been shown to do, what are kind of the uh, bad things or what, what are the side effects? What are the problems with it? There actually aren't a lot of studies on humans. Most of the humans are, uh, studies are actually hearsay or based off of what people have experienced while using these peptides. Most of the studies have done on, on rats or horses or dogs when you actually research all the materials. There also isn't a lot of research on the ill effects of these peptides. Now, everything may have ill effects, but there isn't anything at this moment that I could tell you uh, that is bad or uh, that there are side effects to these peptides. Now, the biggest downside to these peptides is that they're labeled as secretagogues. And these are actually labeled as illegal by the World Anti-Doping uh, organizations. So if you play in the NCAA or you are uh, competing in natural bodybuilding leagues or natural weightlifting competitions, things like that, these substances are actually illegal. And if they find out through drug testing that you're taking these substances, you will be disqualified. So that's one of the biggest uh, downsides to these natural peptides is that they are considered performance enhancing drugs or performance enhancing substances. In the medical world, there really are no randomized, double-blind studies about these peptides. These peptides are also labeled as research peptides because they're not really legal for human use. So that's the information about peptides. Uh, if you'd like me to break down peptides even more into each separate one, let me know. Thank you for watching. If you have any other questions, you can DM me. You can comment below. You can also email me at spindocinc at gmail.com. I'd love to hear from you. Love to answer all your questions. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Have a good one.